I swear to God, these impulse grenades are going to be the rarest thing in the game right now. Oh, hello. Oh my God, get absolutely dumpstered. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I have got an absolutely epic round of Fortnite to share with you and a pretty awesome challenge to go along with it. But just before we jump into the video, there's something that I've seen a lot of you asking about in the comment section, which I thought I'd quickly address. And that is the new little sponsor button that you can see has recently appeared beneath all my videos, which is a new feature YouTube's been rolling out slowly. And my channel, for whatever reason, was one of the first ones to get it. So long story short, it's kind of like subscribing to someone on Twitch. It's $5 a month and essentially get a whole bunch of perks which you can see on the screen right about now. One thing I wanted to be really cautious about was making sure I didn't take anything away from people who aren't going to try this out. So long story short, it's just a few little bonuses, a kind of extra way for me to say thank you for those of you who are supporting the channel a little bit extra. So what you get is a custom comment badge down in the comment section, which is looking at pretty damn cool. You get two secret spots videos a month, which I don't know what they are yet. Probably going to be little behind the scenes videos and extra things that wouldn't normally make it onto the channel a monthly private Q&A stream, and last but not least, I really want to start recording some custom games with you guys. So, if you join the sponsor program, what you get is a custom rank in my Discord, and in that Discord chat, I'm going to be trying to organize some custom Fortnite games where we all queue at the same time, and some custom Overwatch matches, and I'm going to be doing the first one of them in two days from now. So, if you want to get in on that, try this out, make sure you join the Discord channel, link up your YouTube account, and you'll get access to where I'm going to try and organize all this stuff. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shrine Challenge for Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, most of you are probably aware that the game got a pretty cool update yesterday. And in that update, we got the new impulse grenades and a whole bunch of balance changes. But the developers also added a series of secret shrines all around the map, which contain a whole bunch of pretty epic loot and pretty awesome chests. So today, we're going to be coming down. We are going to be landing at these shrines. And they are going to be the only place where we're allowed to pick up loot. With the exception of the bodies of people who we... We kill. And our first chest of the day is ooh, a shield potion and a silenced SMG. You can see we've also got a second chest one level further down. Make sure you don't miss these if you go and search for yourself because a lot of the time there are ones hidden deeper inside the building. Now, these shrines can actually spawn up to three chests in each one. I think some can have even more than that. Three is just the most I've personally found. And they're actually a really, really epic place to get your early game loot. So if you want to try them out, I'm going to put a little bit of an image on the screen right now that shows all the shrine locations across the map. But first things first, let's run all the way over to Retail Road because from now on, we can't pick up any more guns from the ground. The only guns we can get are off the dead bodies of our enemies. We can't go and open up more chests. We can't go and loot buildings either. I pray that we don't see like a golden scar or a bolt action sniper or God forbid some of those. We, you know, we, we can't even find those new grenades in chests because we're not allowed to open them. So we're gonna have to, oh God. All right, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Bit of a weird one right there, you know, just shooting a guy in the back from that range. But look at this, we got a shotgun off the bat. And you know what? I'm actually not even going to pick up that second shotgun. I know what you guys think of Muse Elk, the double pump. You could do it. You could pull it off. But I refuse. I have decided the double pump is a disgusting, disgusting practice, which I will no longer have any part in. We're going to come down here straight into the retail where I don't even know where that guy came from. That's the most confusing thing for me. There was like no loot spots over there where he should have been. The shrine is like the only thing near there. And all right. Okay. I hear gunfire. And that is the sound of more loot. So we got to move forward as quick as we can. I don't want anyone else to get these kills. I want to get these kills. And okay, we got a guy right here. And he's dead. All right, let's keep moving. I'm going to grab that right there. I'm going to grab those bandages as well. And rearrange our inventory quickly. And then we're going to see who, was getting, who he was getting in a gunfight with. And I'm betting that it was some guy who was up on that roof. But I already hear gunfire over here. So that's going to be where we go next. Although, oh no, I also hear gunfire here. Where is he? Oh my god, how many people are in this freaking house? That guy's dead? My god! Where are all these bad guys? Hit for 22. And not dead yet. And now he's dead. Okay. There are still more enemies, I'm pretty sure, guys. 
The party ain't over yet. We got wood. Hit that guy for 23. Worst headshot ever. And now he's actually dead. Okay, can we can we move on now? Can we chill out? Can I get that? Okay, there we go. We got the resources. I still feel like, yeah, there is. There's a guy over there. I knew it. And now... There we go. He's dead as well. My god. Well, talk about getting loot. I mean, we got six kills. I'm feeling pretty good right now. What we don't actually have, though, are really any meds, which is kind of surprising to me. But let's uh, let's quickly jump on this roof. Can we spot anyone else over on different sides? I Oh. Okay, yep, there we go. And, okay, he's been hit pretty hard. We're going to charge over. Get ready, guys. This is where I probably throw the game. And there we go. Okay, he's dead as well. My just... I didn't expect this much action. I'm going to be totally real with you guys right now. I thought we'd get a couple of kills, but I thought that, you know, generally speaking, laying, landing at a shrine, our kill count might be a little bit lower. That would appear to not be the case. Unfortunately, the other thing that is also not the case is we are not finding any freaking shields. Okay, I don't know where to go next, but... I mean, when in doubt, run towards factory. That's kind of my motto. And run deeper into the middle of the zone. I just really don't want to get shot in the back. I get so, so paranoid when I don't have shields. We can get one shot by a sniper. We can get one shot by a shotgun. We can get one shot by an RPG. Generally, we can just get one shot by a whole bunch of stuff. And getting one shot is never fun. I don't mind it when I lose a fight. I mean, I do mind it when I lose a fight. But I don't mind it as much if... Oh my god, that was a filthy little pick. I don't mind it as much if I actually get a chance to turn around and fight back. The one thing... That just makes me so, so sad. Is if we die in a fight and I never even got the chance to turn around. I'm wondering if maybe one of the other shrines in the game might still be unlooted. We could go and check. There is one just through this field past this uh, giant mountain. I mean, I say just through. It's actually a little bit further away, but we might give it a go. Okay, now there's literally no point in me even running inside that house. Unless there's an enemy in there. We can't even pick up any of the loot on the ground. And honestly, like my nightmare scenario is that we see just an absolutely amazing epic weapon on the ground that I'm not even allowed to pick up. So I don't even want to walk in there. I don't even want to look. I don't want to know what loot I'm not allowed to have. We're going to go straight this way. And we're going to go straight for the next shrine, which you can see on the hill right there. Now, honestly, odds are it's probably been looted by now. But I really need some shields. And I feel like the best chance we have of getting them is inside a chest. And the only chest we're allowed to open is inside that shrine. There are actually not that many of these things on the map. I think there are definitely less shrines than there were Christmas trees. There's a total of, I think, seven on the map as a whole, which is a pretty ridiculously low number, if you ask me. And okay, oh my god, I think I can see a chest up there. Please tell me that's not the glitch where it appears like it's been unopened when in reality someone's already opened it up. Please don't let that be a glitch. I can't see any building around it. I think we can actually get it. Yes! Holy cow! This is actually really, really good luck, guys. Oh, this is fantastic. As long as no one shoots me in the back right now, this is really, really fantastic. We might even be able to get a rocket launcher or a sniper or some kind of power weapon as well. Is there anything on the bottom level? Judging from the lack of light, I'm going to say no. But here we go. What's in the chest? Oh, yes! All right. And there's another one down here. Let's go, go, go. What do we got? hey oh, there it is! Okay, now I'm pretty sure I left that big shield potion up there. Where did it go? Right around there. And alright. Let's get shielded up. Take those mini shields and let's keep on killing. We've got an airdrop coming down, which I'm not even really allowed to do anything with. And also, okay, I can't see any enemies back here. I want to keep the action going. We've had such a high action game that I don't want to let things slow up. I want to keep shooting, keep fighting. From now until the game is completely done. And with any luck, also find a, a tactical shotgun. Because, I mean, as, as well as the pump has served me, when you've only got one of them, it's a bit of a high-risk, high-reward scenario. Sometimes you get those really nice headshots. And other times you, you miss once and then you're dead. And hey, look at that! Ask and you shall receive. Chapter 1 of the Book of Musel. And we got a tactical right there as soon as I just mention it, you know? I, I'd love an RPG as well. Thank you. Now, I'm wondering if we're going to see anyone coming out of Tilted Towers. You can see there's been some battles going on over that way. People fighting upwards on top of the hill. So we're going to go that way too and hopefully sneak up on whoever was the victor of the Tilted Towers fight. Because I'm guessing that's where this guy came. Oh, I saw him right there. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Oh, no, he hasn't seen me. And there we go. All right, he's dead. He's got a blue shotgun on him. 
He's got a bolt action sniper. All the gear that a growing boy needs. And how many grenades we got if we grab this? Zero. You know what? I'm going to make the, the tough call there of saying that's not worth carrying around. Okay, now I can't see anyone else coming from down there. I can see a whole bunch of loot on the ground. And I reckon, oh, okay, we got a guy right here. Taking off all his shields. Let's start going towards him. We've got a big old health advantage right now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And... Oh, he drank some more shields, but it's not enough. We got him in the end. All right. Now he had, oh yes, a launch pad. How did you know that was my favorite thing? And he had more mini shields. Absolutely awesome. Okay, this is a pretty good spot for us to be in right now, guys. 10 kills on the board. Someone's building some weird kind of structure over there. I don't know what they're trying to do, but actually on second thoughts, we got to start going into the zone right now. We're a little bit far out. We've got a launch pad and we've also got two traps with us. So you know what? If we get into that 1v1 final scenario, you guys know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try and build a little bit of a... I'm not going to take that shot. I want to wait until we get something a bit more guaranteed. Okay, we got the hit and we got the kill. There it is. Let's keep going forward. Man, I just love it when I hit those shots on someone who's moving right across my screen. I miss them way too often, so when I finally actually get it, it feels so good. Okay, now this zone's coming in. We are going to have to really, really start moving here. And what do we go for? Another... Okay, we got two launch pads, so I reckon that's what we're going to do. We're going to use one launch pad to make 100% sure we don't take any damage here. I feel like that's probably... Oh, could we make it in? I don't think we can make it in. We're going to be just too late. So yeah, you know what? This is going to be a two ticker as soon as it stops. So I reckon, uh, as much as it pains me to use a launch pad for a non-meme related purpose, I feel like right here, it's definitely the right call. Do not want to take any damage. I like having almost perfect health. I mean, in an ideal scenario back there, I would have actually used that med kit, but we just didn't have the time. And there are mini shields in there, but I'm not allowed to pick them up. Oh, it's a tragedy. A tragedy of the highest order. We got 11 kills though right now, guys. We are having a seriously, seriously good game. The only question is, where is our next target going to be? We've got the rocket launcher, the bolt action, the shotgun, the rifle. I'd love to find a scar, but you know what? Right now, can't really complain. You know, you can't have this many good guns and then, and then start getting annoyed that you don't have a scar. You got to take what you got and be grateful. I can't see anyone yet, but I'm always really nervous about getting snuck up on. Oh. Enemies down here. Oh, you can see him. Oh, no, no, no. We missed. Should we go for the shot? Oh, look at them. And what? He stole the kill. You cheeky son of a... You know what? I'm literally going to blow you up now, kid. You've ruined my epic plan. Where is he? Is he under there? He is. And all right. Please die. Okay, there it is. We got the golden scar. Exactly what I said I wanted. And now we're going to get all this loot and then keep on moving. There was a sniper behind me there. Got to be a little bit careful. You can see him right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. 12 HP. Not what I'm down for. We're getting out of here. Launch pad. And see you later, kid. I, uh, it was fun. It was fun. I had a good time, but I need to go and drink my shield potions. Okay, there we go. I'm still pretty low on HP. I don't have any... Oh, I used my launch pad! Oi! Oh, he's behind the tree. He's behind the tree. Oh, he's behind the rock. He's behind the rock. We got the rocket launcher, though. We hit him once. And he's dead. All right. Please, no one shoot me. Holy cow. Why is, this, why, why is this so scary? I need that med kit. Oh my god, get me down here right now. We gotta pop this ASAP and get on the move. I don't have a launch pad left there, guys. But unfortunately, that was the sacrifice we had to make if we wanted to stay alive. And you know what? I will always take staying alive over a meme at the end of the game. As much as I love my memes, I don't think anyone doubts that. You guys know my commitment. Unfortunately, sometimes you just gotta stay alive. Because if you're dead, you know... 
Ain't nothing that you can end up pulling off at the end of the day. Part of me wants to go into Salty Springs here, but honestly, and it's kind of sad that this is the case, but I'm actually scared to go into Salty Springs with the fact that the double shotgun is still in the game right now, because we are with the tack, which means if we get in a close range fight, honestly, it's absolutely petrifying that someone might just be able to just quickly get a little bit of a double pump on us, and then we're gone from the game. We've got five enemies left alive. Got a sniper in that direction. And honestly, I reckon that's going to be where we go. I reckon it'll be a little bit more fun if we run out into the field. Start hunting people down aggressively. Playing like the lunatic that you guys know I am. And getting that kill. Oh, there we go. All right, now there's a guy with a rocket launcher down the hill here. I don't know where he is, but we're going to have to be really, really careful. Where is... Oh, he's right here. And we got him once. And there we go. All right, another one bites the dust. He had, oh, he had the impulse grenades as well, dude. So much good gear. So little time. What do I take? I got to go for the impulse grenades. I'm sorry. Like, I, this is once again, really, I'm making decisions based off what's of what's just seems fun here, not what's smart. And I'm actually going to keep that one med kit with me just because I feel like if we get shot and we get stuck on a very, very low amount of HP, I want to make sure that we can... Uh, Still actually heal ourselves up. Three enemies left. Chug Jug on the ground. The biggest loot pile in history right here. And I'm actually going to use this to get all the way back up. Wait, unless there's, there is not a random... Okay, wait, there is a random shield. And we got a meme pad. Oh my god, guys. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Three people left alive. 15 kills on the board. And we need this Chug Jug right now. Okay, there we go. Meme pad in hand. Rockets. Not in hand. Where are my rockets? Where did I put that rocket launcher? Oh, God. You know what? Well, we got a legendary rocket launcher now, so it's an improvement. Now, all we got to do is A, not get one shot, and then B... F Hello? And goodbye. You know, sometimes I actually feel guilty doing that. But then I remember that, I mean, I really like winning the game. And okay, where to next? Should we try doing some jumping? Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. I almost watched off the cliff. And there's the last guy. All right, let's get up. And take this! It totally missed. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no! Alright, what do we do now? Oh my god, do you reckon we could knock this girl out of her base and kill her? That would be a pretty sweet way to get a victory royale. Get ready. Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Oh my god, how didn't that work? I got it right in the hole! Oh no, that one missed! I've got one more impulse grenade left. Man, this chick really wants to kill me. Stop blowing holes in my base! No! Oh my god, no! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god. She doesn't know where I am. We're gonna get the full chug jug. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go, watch it! No, it didn't work! Okay, you know what? We're going for the meme. We're going for the meme. We're going for the meme. This is really dumb when she is a rocket launcher. But we gotta do it. Come on. Let me kill you with a meme! Let me kill you with a meme! Don't make me kill you a normal way, woman! I'm gonna be sad, you're gonna be sad, then we all lose. You know what? You forced my hand once again! Oh, wait, she's gone beneath me. Okay, we don't need to blow her up yet. I'm gonna surround her with traps. We're gonna put a trap there, a trap there, a trap literally on every single block around from where she's hiding. There's no way out. You have no way out. You have literally no way out. Your only way out is through a trap. Where is she? She can't get out, right? She should be stuck. She gonna fall through? The zone's coming in. The zone's coming in! You better run, woman! Get right into one of the traps! Go, 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 go! Oh my god. No, she's used to- That's cheating! That's supposed to be my gag, you cheeky son of a- Oh no. Come on. Okay, you know what, guys? We've had a good run. What's the point, though, if we don't do anything dumb? 
Have I got the launch pad? I do. We're gonna go for the slam dunk finisher. The slam dunk finisher. Let's go, boys. Let's go and adios, senora. Oh my god, a 17 kill shrine challenge victory royale. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think of the shrine challenge. Give it a go. It's actually kind of fun going in with these little kind of loot challenges. They still let you play really aggressively. In fact, they make you play even more aggressively, but it gives you that extra feeling of accomplishment at the end of the day. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you legends in the next one. Bye-bye.